Here is a robber with an IQ of 180 rob a bank. They said they were robbing a bank, but they didn't take any money and made the hostages take off their clothes. Was it for sex? No, they didn't hurt anyone. In the end, when the police forced their way in, they realized that there were no robbers at all. And even the weapons they found were just a few toy guns. No money was missing. No one was hurt. And it was as if the robbery had never happened. But in fact, the robbers made a whopping $5 billion. How did they do it? The leader's name is Owen. He disguised himself as a worker, walked into the bank, took out an infrared searchlight and destroyed the security cameras. Then a few of his boys came in and unlocked the bank door. When the security guard realized something was wrong and was about to ask, a cold gun was pressed against his waist. Then the show began. The robbers had everyone under control with ease. A passing police officer noticed something was wrong in the bank and called for help. Soon a large number of SWAT officers arrived and surrounded the bank. But Owen didn't panic because everything was going according to his plan. He had his men take the hostages' mobile phones and keys. Then he had the hostages undress and change into uniforms. The robbers put on the same clothes and masks. Then they put the hostages into different rooms at random. After all this, an old man had a heart attack, but Owen took him out to the hospital right away. This not only shows his humanitarianism and helps to stabilize the hostages, but also provokes the police. After all the preparations, it's time for them to get down to business. I didn't expect Owen to look at all the cash in the room and not be impressed. He looked at the more valuable safes, but he didn't do anything. Finally, he went to one of the utility rooms and looked around and said, this is perfect. Then he had his boys move the shelves out of the way and start smashing up the floor. You'll never guess what he was up to until the last minute. At that moment, the chairman of the bank also came to the scene. With his wealth, it would be a piece of cake for a small branch to be robbed without batting an eyelid. But now he seems to be in a panic. Obviously there must be a big secret hidden in this bank.